You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. 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 Watch Nollywood Pictures TV. And you subscribe. 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 We will be happy. Subscribe now. I have nothing to do with him. I disowned him the very day I learned that I had a criminal as a son. How could he kidnap and plan the murder of my own? They will judge him. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, please, I beg you. Please, I beg you. If you don't do anything about this, our son will be jailed for criminal activity. His life will be ruined. He will not hold any credible position in his life. Your Majesty, please, I beg you. That is the fate of criminals. That will be the fate of your son who is a criminal. Now listen. Never in this life, never in this life are you going to ever discuss that criminal. Never again. <laughs> Where do I start from? Is this my end? Is this my end? I see in her a child that bears the mark of farmer. It will not be possible for me to kill that woman, and I would even advise you to leave her alone. decisions for the king. He does that by himself. All I just do is 
uh, present your case in front of him and um, allow him to make all the decisions. But I can actually help you out only by making the process of your case get faster to him. That's all. Okay. Um, let me call you back. Ah, okay. What is it? This is what you want. To get my brother jailed for two years. Are you blaming me for something? Are you trying to say something? Seriously. If I had known that you are just wicked, I would have listened to my brother when she told me you are just as evil as your late mother. This is unbelievable. Cindy, are you the one talking to me like this? What did you expect me to do? For God's sake, I went to court. I went to plead on his behalf. Telling the judge that I forgive my brother. And that's why they gave him two years, if not ten years, was his case. And you blame me? And why are you calling me an evil girl? Is there a reason for that? Understand from today that I don't If you ever cross my heart, I swear to God, I'm going to crush you. Seriously, why are they blaming me? <sighs> your Majesty, you know you are not worried about your daughter. And I wonder why. Why should I be bothered? No, I'm not. She is the princess of our land. She should be married by now. And a senior bank executive working with a lead bank in this country ought to be married. Jacob, Your Majesty. I don't really know why you are bothered about it. That shouldn't bother you. I am bothered, Your Majesty. Because she is the princess of our land. I have seen it happen severally. If you don't sit her down to make her understand the need for her to get married, she might remain in this palace, enjoying the affluence you have provided. Behold, your majesty, your son, he's done with this thing, and he's free again. That's his son. Father, please. not been the son you wanted me to be. I know everything I was supposed to do right, I did wrong. I have learned my lesson. I have realized the gravity of the offense I committed. I also know the dent I have caused the image of this family. Father, take me back. I have repented. I am no more that person you used to know. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. I am sorry. I am truly sorry. Please, sir. I listened to your apology. I'm sure 
you'll be wondering why I have said nothing. But the impression I get from your silence is you're still angry at me. I'm truly sorry. I'm a changed person. I've learned my mistakes. I'm sorry. sister has forgiven you. So, who am I not to? In fact, I have forgotten about the entire event. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Sit down. Um, son, I wish to announce here with that uh, all your rights and privileges are restored. Thank you, dear. Thank you, dear. Thank you, your majesty. You are indeed a true leader. you have in this palace is back full blast. Yes. Your Majesty, mm -hmm. why would you exclude the throne? Why? Uh, see, no, no. I am king. And a king must be sincere to his people. Joseph is an ex-convict and in Ezema Kingdom, no ex-convict can be king. So, all your rights, all your privileges in this palace, you have them back. But you cannot be her apparent to the throne. Sad, sad thing. Yeah. Regrettable that uh, royalty is going to depart from my family. God forbid. Chukwajo. When I join my ancestors as a result of your actions. Hey. Yes, oh. it's really, really sad. I'm sad. Mm -mm. Oh, 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 my princess is very excited this night. Is it because of your brother? Yes, Daddy. Ah. <laughs> I mean, I'm very excited that Joseph is out. Because I kept wondering how I was ever going to get married without my brother being present. This is a, such a good reason. Oh, come on, come on. My princess is trying to tell me something, that a man is in the waiting. <laughs> of course, Daddy. His name is Leo. Come on, out with it. And he's the son of Chief Aimba, the former secretary of the federal government and the now ambassador to the Arab Emirates. Okay. 
Well, he has actually asked my hand in marriage for quite some time now, but I told him that I wanted Joseph to be out. And now he is. I think it's time for me to give him the go-ahead to come and see. Now <laughs> that is splendid. <laughs> yes. Chief Enimba. I know him. He is a noble man with a impeccable integrity. Hey, sweetheart, I commend your sound judgment. Good. Let him come and see me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dad. Come, come and see. <laughs> I know. Who is that man who walked in with Dada? My prince, I thought you know him. His name is Liu. He's the man that wants to marry Ada, the princess. Acting numb, like you didn't get my question. This lab result shows that you are pregnant, and I demand an explanation now. You're not helping matters here. What's the matter with you? Okay, fine. In case you don't know, my faith prevents me from laying with you until we are married. And I can remember clearly, I never slept with you. But look at you, you are pregnant. How come about this? How come about this? Oh, oh, oh. 
Are you giving the impression that, 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 that you wayward woman? That you going around sleeping with men? This pregnancy is like a mystery. Oh, come on, don't give me that crap. What do you take me for? Do you know who I am? You think I'm some 12 year old dunce? Now I understand why my father insisted that we both submit ourselves to the battery of this lab test before the wedding. I see filth! Don't play a sentimental game with me because it's not gonna work. It's not going to work. So if my father never insisted on this lab test before the wedding, you would have imposed another man's pregnancy on me, Ada. So you're capable of this. You know, where are you going? Somebody break the silence. What's the problem between both of you? Your Majesty, Ada is pregnant. That's not a very responsible thing to say. Married with my daughter is just around the corner. The last Saturday of this month, and you're, you're here telling me that you've already put her in, in the family way. Well, that's that's not palatable. I mean, it's not. Your Majesty, to tell you the truth, I have never had carnal knowledge of your daughter because we're not married yet. Oh, look at her. She's already pregnant before the wedding. Your Majesty, I'm not responsible for this pregnancy. Did you hear what he said? What's the meaning of this? Your Majesty, my mind is made up. I cannot continue with this marriage anymore. I'm sorry. I have to go now. did you give me children that that are utterly useless God even my own Ada who I gave everything has shown me that mortals cannot be trusted
anybody. Must kill you. I don't think we should talk about it. That's what you should be talking about now. That's what I expect you to be doing now. I need to know everything about that pregnancy. Who is the man? I need to send for him. He should be made to face his actions. Daddy, please, we, we, we really should not be talking about Deceived me with her looks. I actually thought she was a saint. Oh, I am shattered. You're confusing me. Who are you talking about? The young man that came to marry my daughter has called off the wedding. Why? Ada is pregnant. The man is not responsible because he never slept with her. What it means is that my daughter, who I give all my trust, actually was sleeping with another man. Or even me. Am I not vindicated? I've been telling you from the beginning that she was a perfect deceiver, a smooth operator. But you wouldn't listen. Are you finally seeing the dent she has inflicted on the family? Are you seeing it? Devastated. Mm. <laughs> this one is even more serious than what my son did. His was youthful exuberance. This one is abomination. Allo. A supposed princess getting married is discovered to be pregnant for another man. Her husband called off the wedding. Hey! An abomination. If I do, 
the implications of being numerous. So, this is what you have been doing. Jumping from one man to another. I told you. I told you that someday your sin will find you out. If you're going to get If you get I'm not a flat. You know this, I'm not a flat. If you're not a flat, then tell me who is responsible for that cost pregnancy. Do you know the gravity of death you have brought upon this family? Do you know? How can this be reported? That the wedding of a princess was called off because she was discovered carrying another man's pregnancy. Hey! Hello! Hello! You really want to know who is responsible? Can you swear you know who is responsible for that pregnancy? Iyamui! Iyamui! It's Joseph! It's Joseph, your son! Joseph raped me at gunpoint! He told me to shut up or he will shoot me! He threatened my life! Now what am I supposed to be living for? He has done every harm that he can do! So right now you can tell him to come and shoot me! Let him go and shoot me! What nonsense are you saying? What rubbish are you saying? I've been quiet for so long! I've been really quiet! Please! Joseph, mm? Ada is pregnant. Her marriage has been called off by her husband to be. The man said he cannot marry a woman carrying another man's child. Ada said she was raped and she mentioned your name as the rapist. What? Um, I can't believe she said a thing like that. Please. Please don't tell me you're the one who raped her for real. Did, did, did she tell you she's pregnant herself? Joseph, you have to open up to me. I remain the only one who has the solution to this problem. Your father has perfected plans to hand over the management of all his oil rigs to you. That was to happen after her wedding. If your father hears that you are the one who raped her, you will not get anything from him. Please tell me the truth. Open up to me. So that let me know how to follow up this matter. Open up to me, Biko. Open up to me, Biko. Let me know.
How on earth am I going to stop him from hearing that you are the one responsible for her pregnancy? Hey! Hello. Good. That's great. Come on, come on, come on. Father, I know you love me and all, but just sometimes you just judge me in a in a hurry well shall we eat now later we can talk I'm about to have my dinner. Your Majesty, this issue is extremely important and we must deal with it immediately. Please give me your attention and you can continue your dinner afterwards. Okay, so what is it? I'm on the line with the African sales representative of the Amina refinery. She's denying that we did not send them the one million barrel of crude. Is she insane or what? Come on. I have all the documents. She can't deny it. This is why I'm calling your majesty. Fax me all the documents right away. Please do it before you start your dinner. This is urgent. I want to prove to them that they don't know anything, your majesty. All right. All right. You will have the fax right away. <coughs> Honey, now continue with the food I let me deal with this pronto. Okay. I'll join you immediately. Kingdom. Preposterous. Incredible. You know, the food she ate was actually the food I was served. It was poisoned. The only regret is that she lost her pregnancy. But she'll be fine. 
can I see her now? Oh, no. The nurses are cleaning her up. We had to empty her bowls of all food particles. I think they'll be ready in 30 minutes' time. <sighs> Thank you very much, Dr. Keke. Thanks indeed. Yes. Um, can you come away to my office? Um, no. No, um, I'd like to remain with my daughter. Okay, no problem. Thank you, sir. Impossible. My plan was to poison the king so that he won't get to hear that you're the one responsible for her pregnancy. If not, he will disown you permanently. I don't know where this devil came in from. She came in and ate what was served for the king. Um, Mama, I have a solution to this problem. I'll simply send my boys to finish off Ada in the hospital. And as for the king himself, Finish him off myself. You mean you can really do it? Kingdom. I was warned. I was warned to leave her alone, but I wouldn't listen. Cindy, go and reconcile with her before you get blind yourself. Go, 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 go. Nick, 
up. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are we going to with her before you get blind? No, oh, I can't see. I can't find her. Both of you are blind at the same time. What did you do? Father, I don't know what is happening. My mother and brother have gone blind. Where are they? They're in the living room. Four. Go on, I'm coming after you. Mama, Mama, can you just tell me what's really going on? Confess before I die. Yes, I will confess. I have been the problem in this palace. Yes, I've been the problem in this palace. I'm the one that killed Ugo. My plan was to kill Ugo and her little daughter Ada. But the little Ada did not die, she survived. I planned the kidnap that led to the sack of all the formal palace workers. I wanted to fire Chidema so that I can have access to kill the little ladder. But it never worked the way I planned it. It never worked. My problem has expanded beyond what I can handle. that my son has committed. But everything worked against me. Oh! It is so powerful that the holy book says, you shall know the truth and it shall set you free. I am happy that you are finally back to marry my daughter. You are back because you now know the truth. 
I shall not say anything until I hear from her. Your Majesty, I heard everything. Yes, now I know the truth. And it, it suddenly dawned on me that I abandoned her when she needed me the most. No. No, my dear. You're not to blame. You did what every normal man will do. The issue is that we judged her too, too quickly. Thank you, Daddy. Welcome. Welcome to the palace. Daddy. I heard everything. And I finally realized how inhuman it was of me to abandon you at that moment in your life. I was too quick to judge you. Who has the right to judge anyway? And I would love us to, to go ahead with this marriage. Because I strongly believe that we have a future together. Please, marry me. So beautiful, she's so beautiful. Bitter and bitter she feels, stronger and stronger she tries. She tries, but the pain is getting worse than she could ever endure. She's so beautiful, she's so beautiful, she's so beautiful. So Send you cry. Oh, I wanna know. What make the sand you cry? What make the sand you cry? What make the sand you cry? 